What's going on, guys? Terry gonna be reviewing the Lego Star Star Scavenger set, which is set seven five one four seven. Has five hundred fifty eight pieces and retail for sixty dollars. Whew! This is. It, it was an okay set. I got it just because I wanted these minifigures, but this set in general does not look the best. Um, if you saw Solid Break Studios review on this set like a while back, like in twenty fifteen. He called the set crap, and you get that thing, which it's like a digger. You get a really weird ship, and you get some odd minifigures. But before we get into the minifigures, let's take a look at this um, set. This, the little digger you put Rowan in there. Uh, it, the shovel moves up and down. You get two like lights right there. You get the steering wheel right there. The feet can move, but they don't go back. They only go forward. It's a really odd build, and it's not the greatest. Now for the Star Scavenger, you can take this off. You can put the minifigures in there. This is what the cockpit looks like. There's a little uh, cheese slope panel right there. Two guns on the side. Missiles are missing, which they always fire. Um, you can put the digger in here, which I could try to fit it, but it probably won't. Fit. Yeah, it's probably not gonna fit. And then we gotta put that back on. But yeah, that's really it. It's got two engines in the back. Yeah, that's really it for the Star Scavenger. It's kind of ugly. I don't want to talk about this any longer. But let's take a look at the minifigures. We got Roger, which I get it, this is how he looks in the Free Maker Adventures, but it's literally a really bad battle droid look. He comes with a normal battle droid arm on there. G three Genosis battle droid head with the head, the other arm, and the legs, and then a uh, assassin battle droid uh, torso. But yeah, it doesn't look the greatest. It really doesn't. Um. Next up, we got Rowan. She has a cartoony look to him. Uh, we've gotten this hair piece a lot before. The hiker from series sixteen. He doesn't come with another face print. He comes with just this one. And yeah, that's really it. Next up, we have Xander. And interesting head hair piece. No back facial, pre facial printing. And a cartoony torso and legs. That's really it. Um, next up, we have Cordia. And this is the final minifigure. Just the standard ponytail hair piece. Um, just stand, um, cartoony, throw some legs again, no back leg printing, back printing. She does not have back fish printing either. And yeah, that's it. Given the set nowadays, don't buy it. Just don't buy it. It's a waste of money. It was $60 when it was first released. The set is now going for $150 to $160 sealed. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just like button down below and subscribe to see you guys in the next video. See you guys.